We are the very adroit life in the known universe. I mean, envision that we're the key spot where there is data in this vast system. Cosmologists all around the world are in wonderment of this constantly impelling openness. The James Webb Space Telescope has gotten the subtle shine of city lights an immeasurable seven trillion miles from Earth, beating all questions. This stunning accomplishment achieves more than just expanding our points of view as far as what we are acquainted with. The universe hypothesis goes wild as experts pore over the information, looking for signs that could open the secrets of these dumbfounding, uncommon guides. The considerations are astonishing. Check that we are following in the steps of a couple of remarkable people in the universe that the universe is swarming with life and advancement, very far outside our ability to make heads or tails of. Is it conceivable that these faraway lights show the presence of extraterrestrial societies? What's the meaning of this for our insight into the probability of life in the universe beyond Earth? Join us as we look at how the James Webb Telescope just saw city lights seven trillion miles away. Sent off into space on Christmas Day 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope was expected to beat the exceptionally regarded Hubble Telescope in catching astoundingly sharp photographs of newly discovered brilliant objects, planetary frameworks, and more. An unmistakable goal of the JWST is to focus in on the development of the earliest universes by assessing the far-off, adjoining tenants of the universe. This is useful because the journey time of light throughout our universe is billions of years. When the JWST accumulates light, it catches these objects exactly as they were billions of years ago. Space experts measure distances in light years, which is the distance light can travel in a year. To show this fact, the mission's first major reasonable undertaking was a gigantic field picture that was introduced on July 11, 2022, by U.S. President Joseph Biden while he was speaking from the White House. While the Hubble Space Telescope centered on a particular district of the sky for 10 straight days, starting on December 18, 1995, the Hubble Deep Field got a glimpse of a region that was just a small spot, making up around one millionth of the whole sky. By far, most of the 3,000 currently vague things found by Hubble were gigantic systems found billions of light years away. With its focus on the SMX 0723 Universe Group, the JWST Deep Field covers a similarly small sky region. The universe structure SMX 0723 is 4.6 billion light years away and the more distant worlds behind it are intensified by the unprecedented gravitational field. The bending of the brilliant frameworks is bent into colossal turns where the gravitational field is most extreme. In one case, it was confirmed that it took a faraway system's light 13.14 billion years to reach the telescope, resulting from its journey through space. The light being transmitted stretches as the universe expands. The primary target of the JWST has been to get visible light from their stars into the infrared. Astronomers can clearly perceive JWST's visible light photographs of adjoining cosmic systems taken by Hubble and other telescopes. By gathering data at those frequencies, we can see how cosmic systems have evolved over enormous timescales and converged into the shapes we notice today. More astounding than the sheer number of structures in the JWST's first deep field picture is how quickly it was captured in just hours, compared to days or even weeks for other telescopes. Wherever it looks, it can't stay away from the impulse to find new universes. Cosmic system groups aren't the only objects acting as enhancing centers. Experts use the JWST to capture a picture of a pair of universes, designated VV1191, so they could study how the light from one of the pair changed as it passed through the other. The effects of this study will reveal the properties of the mediating cosmic system's evolution. Furthermore, it appears that the JWST may have made an excellent discovery. Light from a very far-off world. The explanation of the possible presence of auroras on an exoplanet came from the official JWST site. The deficit of a host star and the cold temperature makes it hard to pinpoint where the energy in the upper atmosphere is coming from. At any rate, the fact that the item showing aurora is indeed emitting methane is critical. Just like auroras on Earth are caused when blazing particles from the sun are captured by our planet's magnetic field. Charged particles then clear their way through Earth's atmosphere near the poles, where they collide with gas particles, creating a brilliant light show called the aurora borealis. Jupiter and Saturn have similar auroral phenomena due to the solar wind. However, the confusing W1935 has no star to orbit so its auroras are a monstrous mystery. 
Everyone's doubt keeps focusing on Proxima Centauri Trappist 1, around 4.4 light years from Earth, inside the Milky Way. Researchers have identified the presence of water on the exoplanet, and the chance of life on the world can't be excluded. Are we finally going to see proof of life beyond Earth? Just last month, the JWST saw another extraordinarily gigantic black hole. This colossal black hole was seen in multiple frequencies and is consuming everything around it. This discovery is 40 million times as massive as the Sun. But what does this mean for us? The JWST has seen that this extremely large black hole has been present since the start of the universe. It likely isn't moving. This beast is rapidly consuming everything in its nearby region. The discovery was made by Dr. Lucas Fu and Professor Alastair Z of the Benguan College of the Neef in Israel. According to their findings, the supermassive black hole is almost three times heavier than the sun, making it an enormous object. Fortunately, it is considered a vast distance from Earth, about 129 billion light-years away. Still, it is drawing nearer with the black hole consuming everything around it at a fast rate, as shown by the redshift. When the JWST began sending back its limited information, researchers were excited as they sifted through the data that came in for the uncovered program. Three small objects with a weak red glow caught their eye. They quickly thought it was a nearby massive black hole. However, when they analyzed the data using gravitational lensing, they found something much more captivating. The discovery of similar phenomena in other early universe, very large black holes has given new insights into the development of both the black hole and its host galaxy, as well as the connection between the two. This is still mostly mysterious, but it could be the proof of the early stage development of massive objects like star-forming materials that fell into black holes. Space experts can't yet see precisely what's going on in the images sent back to Earth, but one thing is clear. The James Webb Space Telescope is constantly discovering new, strange objects. We have the enjoyment of exploring space and being enchanted by the dazzling lights of planets and stars that float across the universe, light years away. Not only does the JWST allow us to see far beyond what our eyes can grasp, but it has also revealed a mysterious object in one image. This image, which focused on something else, was taken by the European Space Organization, noticing two youthful stars forming about 1.47 light years from Earth. However, there is a small orange mark at the bottom of the image that seems to resemble a question mark. Clearly, this small image is far from trivial. In fact, it's huge. The question mark shape was caught while observing the formations of young stars known as Herbig Harrow objects which are surrounded by massive rings of gas and dust. As for the question mark shape itself, it may be the case that, due to the two-dimensional picture presented by Webb, it appears this way from its specific perspective. As of now, we have no clue what it is, and without further study, we may never know. However, the discovery has been confirmed by specialists, and it is likely a distant structure or perhaps universes that are interacting with each other. The odd question mark shape could be a result of their combined efforts. Given the surge of distant, distorted structures revealed by Webb, there is an ongoing flood of new, capricious questions. Everyone's eyes are focusing on a specific arrangement of Earth-sized planets that could hold the key to finding extraterrestrial life. The persistent issue, which includes the need for proof of advanced extraterrestrial life in the universe, is not enduring. The high likelihood that such creatures exist could finally be settled. Where are these planets? They sit exactly 40 light years from Earth. Moreover, the nearby star system is known as Trappist 1, which has seven planets orbiting it. In their mission to find habitable planets, NASA is considering a wide assortment of models. Beyond planet size and distance from its star, a more reasonable approach is to evaluate the general conditions of the planet's atmosphere as this would allow researchers to determine whether the planet is livable. The Infrared Spitzer Space Telescope, which is part of NASA's space exploration mission, uncovered the seven cruel exoplanets orbiting the same star, TRAPPIST-1, several years ago. The James Webb Space Telescope has now measured the temperature of TRAPPIST-1b, one of those planets. JWST has consistently made crucial discoveries since its launch and this finding is the very latest in a series of record-breaking firsts. 
This is the first revelation of light emitted by an exoplanet as small and cool as those in our own nearby planetary system. No other telescopes have had the ability to measure such weak mid-infrared light. As researchers continue to analyze the data provided by the James Webb Space Telescope, the excitement around its discoveries is palpable. The insights gained from these observations are not just expanding our understanding of the universe, but also reshaping how we think about the potential for life beyond Earth. As the telescope observes distant stars, exoplanets, and galaxies, each new piece of data brings us closer to answering the age-old question. Are we alone in the universe? The search for extraterrestrial life has always been a challenge, not just because of the vast distances involved, but because of the complexity of the environments that could harbor life. Many of the planets that the JWST has been studying are located in the so-called habitable zone, where conditions might allow liquid water to exist on their surfaces. This is a key factor in the search for life, as water is a critical ingredient for life as we know it. But while the presence of water is a promising sign, it's not enough on its own to confirm that life exists. Researchers are also looking for other signs of habitability, such as the right chemical composition in the atmosphere and the presence of certain gases that could indicate biological activity. In addition to studying distant exoplanets, the JWST is also investigating the earliest stages of the universe. By observing galaxies that formed billions of years ago, scientists are able to learn about the conditions that led to the formation of the first stars and galaxies. This research could provide important clues about how life might have emerged in our own galaxy and whether similar processes could have occurred elsewhere in the universe. The discovery of galaxies and black holes that are billions of years old is opening up new avenues for research and providing a deeper understanding of the cosmos. One of the most exciting aspects of the JWST's mission is the possibility of discovering new and unexpected phenomena. The telescope has already uncovered several mysterious objects, including unusual shapes and structures that challenge our understanding of the universe. These discoveries are prompting scientists to rethink their theories about the formation and evolution of galaxies, stars, and black holes. As more data is collected and analyzed, it's likely that even more unexpected discoveries will be made, further expanding our knowledge of the cosmos. Looking ahead, the James Webb Space Telescope is poised to continue its groundbreaking work in astrophysics and astronomy. The data it collects will likely lead to new insights into the nature of dark matter and dark energy, two of the most enigmatic aspects of the universe. It will also provide a better understanding of the origins of the universe, the formation of galaxies, and the potential for life elsewhere. As the JWST continues to observe the farthest reaches of space, scientists hope to unlock more of the universe's secrets, bringing us closer to answering one of the most profound questions in science. Are we truly alone in the universe? As we venture further into the cosmos, the discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope will undoubtedly inspire future generations of astronomers, researchers, and space enthusiasts. The telescope's ability to peer into the distant past and uncover hidden wonders of the universe is nothing short of extraordinary. It represents a giant leap forward in our quest to explore and understand the vast, mysterious expanse that surrounds us. With each new discovery, we are reminded of the immense potential of space exploration and the limitless possibilities that lie ahead. The future of space exploration is bright, and the JWST is just the beginning. As technology continues to evolve and new missions are launched, we can only imagine what other astonishing revelations await us in the vastness of the universe. For now, we continue to gaze up at the stars, inspired by the knowledge that there is so much more to discover. The journey is just beginning, and the best is yet to come.